is no reason to get rid of the third generation Toyota Tacoma. You know, we're all hot and heavy, well, some of us, for the 2024 Tacoma. But I have to say, in, in driving around here and thinking myself, you know, there really is no reason to get rid of this Tacoma. And I'm talking about anything 2023 and relatively older. You know, this 2023, of course, it was the end of the third generation era. It has matured, reached its, the end of its life cycle, I guess. And what that means is that Toyota has done pretty much everything that they could have done to it. They've worked all the bugs out. They've got all the tech in it that they were going to ever put in it. And it's reliable, tested, dependable. It looks good. I mean, this is one sexy mid-sized truck, right? I would argue it's the sexiest, best-looking mid-sized truck out there. So you can't get anything better if you're looking to go to some other previous generation version, right? Like a Ford or a Colorado. I will say the Colorado is probably my second favorite of the mid-sized trucks. But it's a distant favorite as compared to the Toyota Tacoma. Now, also, this third gen, I mean, it really has everything that you need, right? First off, it's got the V6 engine. That's one big thing that folks seem to dislike about the 2024 with its four-cylinder single turbo. Remember all the rumors and things that were out there when the 2024 was first being discussed? That it was going to somehow be a, a dual turbo. There were going to be two turbos in this new four-cylinder. I said all along that wasn't going to happen, and it didn't happen. Single turbo, four-cylinder. A lot of people don't like it. The biggest reason I've heard is because of the uncertainty as to how long and how well it will do with towing. How long it will last. That extra work that you put on that smaller engine, the four-cylinder, when you're towing heavier weights. Also, how long is it going to last overall? You know, the big concern is that turbos only last, I've heard, as low as 50,000 miles. I think it all depends on what you do with it. You know, if you take care of it, if you don't put a lot of stress on it, by a lot of stress, I mean exceeding what it was designed for. And I think a lot of us do that. You know, I've done it with my trucks for years. You know, you go to the local I don't know, landscaping place, and you're going to pick up some rocks or mulch or dirt or whatever, and they just dump one of those scoops in the back, and your truck goes boing, boing, and you know, you don't have any idea how much weight it is, but I guarantee you, if a full scoop of dirt, you know, those little mini loaders they have, is wet, and they drop that in the back of your Tacoma, you have exceeded the weight limitation, so it's things like that. You know, it depends on what we do with them, but that's true for any truck. You know, if you exceed what it's designed to do, then you're gonna have troubles. Now, the tech and stuff that's in this truck, I think they've got it to the point where it does everything that it needs to do well. You know, I'm talking about connectivity with cell phones, I'm talking about the screen reaction, the way that you change things, all of that works really, really well. Are we gonna have that in the 2024? You know, one thing that I have found is that when you go with a new infotainment system, it may not link up well to your cell phone because your cell phone is different, in that case, probably older technology. So it's something that I'm very interested to experience myself. Am I gonna have problems getting connected? You know, one thing that I've noticed in a different vehicle that I just got I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you want to know, you'll have to check out the Rob Motive 2, that's T00 or T O O uh, channel. But one thing that I've noticed is it doesn't connect well. I'll be driving along and all of a sudden, Apple CarPlay will pop up on my screen seemingly out of nowhere. It's like it suddenly realized it was there. It lasts for, I don't know, a few seconds and then it goes away. I don't know, some kind of weird hiccup. So that's one thing you're not going to have to worry about. Uh, in keeping what you've already got set up. Now, as far as the capability, we know what the capability is of the third gen, right? It's been out long enough for years and years and years. We know what the capabilities of it are. We don't know that for certain on the 2024. Now, you're probably saying, well, wait a minute. It's all written down. You can look it up. 
But of course you can. But I'm going back to real world capability. Are we going to be able to overload that truck without having problems? Is it going to feel like you could run faster when that bed is full of wet dirt than you can drive it because it's so taxed by the extra weight? I don't know. You see, I never experienced that in this Toyota Tacoma, this version, the, the third gen. I've always been able to do that, and the truck kind of turned around and laughed at me like, is that all you got? Because it could handle it. We don't know, and looking at things that are written down in a report or on a website doesn't tell us that. We have to experience that in real life. And that's where some of the forums come in handy, by the way, because you'll get real world reports and experiences from people that are actually using the truck out there in the real world. They will let us all know if the Tacoma with a full wet dirt bed back there feels it at all. The other thing, of course, is money. You know, the new Tacoma is expensive. It's almost like Toyota has decided that they're going to have a luxury mid-sized Tacoma and they're going to price it accordingly. That's what they're doing. I mean, they've added three to five grand to the price, depending on what trim level you buy. And then if you figure in the market adjustment adders, it's absolutely insane. You know, it's gotten to the point for me where I start to question the value in buying the new Tacoma. Is it really worth that extra money? I mean, what am I getting? I'm getting a, a different interior? I don't know if it's better. I'm getting a different look on the outside. I don't know if that's better either. A lot of people don't like it. Materials wise, everything looks different in the new truck, of course. Is it gonna hold up? I don't know. You know, one thing, a big problem that we've always had with the Tacoma are those door cards. You know, they get scrapes in them and things. I'd probably say on the interior, that's one of the biggest things that lets you down with the existing version. How's the new one gonna do? We gonna have those scuff marks and scrape marks all over the place? We won't know that until it's out there in the real world and we test it, right? But back to pricing. You know, if you've got a, a third gen, maybe you've got a 2018, 17, 19, whatever, and it's paid for, you don't have a payment. Your insurance cost is gonna be lower because now the truck is slowly diminishing in value and your insurance should slowly be diminishing in cost, right? Because they don't have to spend as much money to replace that Tacoma should something happen to it. You're not gonna have that with the 2024 Tacoma. It's gonna be at the top tier level of insurance as far as cost goes because it's so expensive and it's brand new and it's gonna take a while for it to come down to where you probably are on your third gen Tacoma. Plus, owning a truck is the best truck. Any truck that you've paid for, and I don't care what the brand is, if it's paid off, it's the best truck you can have because you have no payments. Nothing beats that. That's the key to financial success, by the way. Don't owe anybody anything. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of talk about that a little bit. You know, keeping the third generation Tacoma probably is a good idea. Running out and buying the 2024, maybe not. Now, some of you might say, well, that's being a little hypocritical because we know you're gonna buy one. Well, that's the caveat to all of this. If you want it and you can afford it, why not? I mean, you can't take it with you. Leave a comment, let me know. You in the market for the 2024 or you're happy with what you've got, you're keeping the third gen Tacoma. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.